Good morning! Happy Thursday, you guys! I'm spending this entire day washing all of the dishes. And also, I'm gonna take this time to re- I know this looks totally crazy, but when we first moved in, I ran out of contact paper to put like on the bottoms of these cabinets and so I just used paper towels and I'm gonna use this opportunity to take the paper towels down and like do it right and put contact paper in these shelves. So this is like my silver lining for today. So there you go. And I have to go through all these coffee mugs. I know it doesn't look like a lot but this cabinet goes back like two or three feet and uh, it's a lot of, there's a lot of mugs in there. I need to go through it and see what we can donate because we have too many cups. We, I don't even know this many people. Why, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like there's no way that like a hundred people would be here and be like, we all need a cup right now. So I think it's okay to donate some of these. What do you guys think? <laughs> you guys, I've been having like kind of a rough morning with all of this stuff that we're like having to clean and it's more just like having to clean everything at the same time is, is not, possible. So it's taking a very long time because you have to wait for one load of laundry to be done and then wait for the floors to dry. It's just a lot of waiting. But I talked to my friend Kita and she's going to come over and bring me some lunch from the German restaurant. So nice. So I'm like my day just went like skyrocketed up. My day is much better. I hope you guys are having a good day. Can't wait for a turkey Reuben though. Yeah. Kita has been here for a few hours now. We are on our fifth load of dishes. I actually, let me show you this because it looked pretty good. I was able to line, well, I'm, I'm a liar, it doesn't look that great, um, but it looks better than it did. And then when we redo the actual kitchen, I will not need to have the contact paper because it won't be painted wood, which is probably lead paint too. I'm sure this is just terrible for us, so we need to really get this kitchen redone. I know it doesn't look great, but it's better than it was. And we have the pantry almost all the way unpacked. There's the dishes starting. I did a couple of loads of laundry. So we were taking a quick break because we'd been working so hard and look at this bug that's next to the pool on one of the rocks from Disney actually. We, I think we got this rock from Fort Wilderness, but, but check him out, what is that? He looks crazy, do you think those are wings? They're wings. Yeah, so is he like a palmetto bug? No. What is he? I'm scared. Comment down below if you know what kind of bug this is. He's really cool looking. But we're gonna let him like hang out because he's, he's so scared. Of yeah, us. I think he's afraid of us. We're gonna we're gonna back away slowly, Mr. Bug. So after all that work, Tim's home. Hey. Yeah. Oh look, you haven't worn that shirt in a long time. Yeah, I'm wearing this shirt. I like it. All the we... fans just broke. Oh no, that's terrible. Everything is breaking. What the heck? Please stop breaking house. Um, but we rewarded ourselves with some New Belgium beer in my Dynamo, my Houston Dynamo's uh, koozie, and then we're gonna have some Moho. What is this? Rotisserie chicken. Publix Moho Rotisserie Chicken. Publix chocolate chip cookies. They're the best. We got some southern potato salad, some smokehouse, I keep wanting to say green beans, baked beans, and uh, yeah, we're good. Life is good. Hawaiian Enjoy. sweet rolls. So excited. Crazy music. Yeah. I wanted to show you guys my mess from the other day when I cut down all those things. It's still there. Like, it didn't magically disappear, but there was a palm tree like a palmetto bush over there that did magically disappear haha <laughs> I'd have to clean up after it but they couldn't do the tenting with it there so they cut it down for me thank you guys I gotta get rid of all this stuff this is like my trash pile I shouldn't have a trash pile I wanted to film some of the bats flying around tonight just to like just before sunset here you can start to see some of the bats coming out where are they now they're they're gone they, they got camera shy I guess there we go there's one here he comes Hey, Mr. Bat. Pretty awesome looking right now. I wanted to try to like mess with a little bit of the color. Make it a little bit darker out than it is. Look, there's a bat right there. Have you guys ever gone outside and like looked to see if you guys have bats flying around? They're pretty neat little animals. So we were looking at the bats, right? And then we looked up and we see this like dot up there. Can you see it in the uh -huh. camera? It's right here. Right? And so we're like, what the heck is that? And so I pulled out my Star Walk app that's and I looked up app. and that's Venus right there. Is it right there? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Where right. is it? Venus right oh, there. Oh, gotcha. It's in the okay. Gemini. Oh, wow. And then I moved it out of the way. And then, and there then was... there's this one, which it's not super visible, but it's right there. And that is Jupiter. Whoa, it's in Cancer. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. And then if we could see past the trees. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay. And if we could see through the trees over there, we would see Mars and Mercury, which are like right here and here. Wow. Pretty neat. And look, there's the sun. It's below the horizon. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a bat. Oh. 
That's pretty awesome how visible Venus, right? This one was Venus? Yeah. Pretty awesome how visible Venus is. And if we could look through the Earth, we'd be able to see the moon and Uranus. Hmm. And Neptune. This is pretty crazy. Oh, it flipped over. Upstairs area of mystery. This is the upstairs of our house. This is actually our master bedroom. I know we don't come up here very often, but because we've been, well, because of Jen, really, not me, I just got home from work. But because Jen's been doing so much laundry and cleaning up the kitchen and everything, we're kind of like all displaced all over the place. So she's gonna do some folding of the laundry. So I came up here to watch TV with her and I figured we might as well show you guys where the termites were, because you guys saw them before. And I wanted to like, we're gonna go in there and investigate right now and make sure that they're not there anymore. So let's go have a look. All right, so we came in here to see like all these little holes and stuff. They were definitely this hole right here, that big one. And definitely another one over here, maybe this one. Oh no, there it is right there, that little one right there. And there was another little one over here too somewhere. I don't see it anymore, but it was there. And you can still see we haven't vacuumed in here yet, but we will soon. So I think, oh, hey, look at this big termite right here. I think they're all gone. There's a couple of like dead wings and stuff like that from them. I think they are all gone. At least I hope so. Also, like, my schedule has been so messed up recently because we've been tenting the house. Bandit's going crazy right now. I don't understand why. But we've been tenting the house, and, like, my work schedule's been jumping back and forth between early mornings and afternoons. And... What are you doing? What are you, what's going on? What's up, Bandit? Bandit crazy. Go get it. Go get it. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to get, but he's going to get something. So you'll have to excuse like the past few vlogs have been like, I know we're like short vlog, Universal Orlando Eye short vlog. Sorry about that. It's the way that it's ending up because we've been trying to get back into the house and get the house cleaned up and me being working and all kinds of other craziness. Eventually, we'll be back on a normal schedule. Oh, and I meant to ask you guys, I've been doing my hair like this. What do you guys think? I kind of like it. It's a lot easier for me to do. And this is sort of like the hairstyle that I want to move towards. I still have to go and get it like cut so that it's like this style but um as of right now it's just kind of like a ton of hairspray holding it down because if i didn't do that it'd be like pink it's like a weird fringe sticking up the top of my head a lot of you guys that watch the videos are from other countries and we realize that and there are certain things that us like from america it just it's just commonplace for us and we don't think twice about it and one of those things is the fact that every other commercial here is for medicine or for a drug company and people from other countries that have socialized medicine they don't have commercials for drug companies because there's no incentive for people to go to their doctors and say hey i want this drug the doctors are paid by the government so there's just there's no need to to advertise special drugs because you don't go to the doctor and say hey i want this drug the doctor tells you what drug you need so and i thought it was really funny because one came on the tv that was like don't take this medicine if you're allergic to this medicine. Why does it have to say that? So every one of these medicine commercials has these weird disclaimers at the end of it. Like, if you take this medicine, it may cause this, it may cause that. And then it's like, don't take this medicine if you're pregnant or nursing or all these other things and like precautions and everything. And one of the things that we just saw was a commercial for a medicine that was one of the precautions said, don't take this medicine if you're allergic to this medicine. What? Why, why, why do you have to be told that? Like, I understand that we're a sue happy community. Like people here in America enjoy suing each other because that's like the American way. And I like, I, so they have to put these disclaimers on there, but come on, if you're allergic to something, would you really take it? I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. We've got weird commercials here. Quick question, what is the weirdest commercial you've ever seen um, and what was it for? Like, what, what was so weird about it that you're like, wow, I remember that commercial. Like some of those Skittles commercials back in the day. Those were weird ones. Oh, holy cow. Fell asleep on the bed. I mean, you guys knew that that was coming, right? Oh, well, we'll be back to a normal-ish schedule tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I feel like I said that yesterday. And uh, now it's time to pay the price.